think of it. We lowered taxes, got rid of regulations. How about Space Force? Just Space Force alone would be a big achievement. First time in 74 years, a new branch of the U.S. military. So, you know, all of the things we've done, and the border, we built the wall. Mexico was all getting ready to pay for the wall. We were going to charge them at the border, small fee. And uh, Mexico would have paid for the wall. They were all set. They gave us 28,000 troops to police it before it got built. And now you see what's happening. And the president of Mexico is a great gentleman, by the way. But he put 28,000 troops on our border at my request, and we didn't pay for that. And he, uh, we, kept, we kept the border beautiful. And now you take a look at what's going on at the border. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. It, Hundreds of thousands of people are going to be pouring in. Mr. President, and, uh, uh, not even believable. You know, the situation in New York, I don't know if you've been following, Governor Cuomo seems to have lost all control. Everybody's finding out about the nursing home situation. You gave him the ship, which he didn't use, and you gave him the uh, facilities inside the Javits Center, which he didn't use. You've been following this? It looks like he's in serious trouble. I have. I'm a little surprised because usually the Democrats don't do it, but a lot of people don't like him. I got along with him. You know, we actually got along sort of okay. But a lot of people don't seem like I'm, I mean, he's he's being hit hard and he's being hit hard by his own people. It's those those are the people that are really hitting him. And uh, pretty amazing. The Republicans are soft. They only hit their own like Mitch. They hit their own. They don't hit. If he spent the same time hitting uh, Schumer and Biden, the Republicans would be much better off that I can tell you. But no, I looked at it and it's. Uh, it's, a, it's surprising what's happened in New York, and, and we did. We gave them uh, the Javits Center. We gave them the ship, the great hospital ship, and it, essentially they weren't used. Spent a lot of money, and they weren't used, and they should have been used. You could have had the patients go there. You could have had people. It would have saved a lot of lives. It's too bad. Hey, uh, but, it, totally, totally. Look, it's been, what, a month? Do you miss the job? Do you miss being president? you got to miss it. Well, I do, and we we're all set to make a deal with Iran. We we're all set. It would have been a great deal. Now it's—I see the deal they're talking about. It's a disaster. We we're all set to. Uh, we we're pulling out of the Middle East almost entirely, which we've almost done anyway. And we we're bringing a lot of soldiers home. A lot of our great soldiers were coming home. We spend a fortune protecting other countries, and the other countries don't even respect it. They don't pay for it. We pay for it. Countries that have plenty of money, we pay for it. So, you know, all coming home. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.